Welcome back. Today I am going to be talking about branding. If you haven't already done this, start thinking about your online persona as a brand. You need to be paying attention to what content and what information and you need to make sure that it is representative of what your brand is. The easiest way to do this is make sure that it is clear and simple and consistent. Whether you're doing Twitter and other social media, or you're doing a clip site, or you're doing a streaming site, try to make sure that every single brand name is similar. It makes it easier for them to know they are in the right place. Things you should also think about with your brand include your color scheme, your font, the way you describe things that you provide. You do not need to be super wordy when you are explaining what you offer. Boil it down to a few key points so that you keep people's attention for long enough to understand what you are offering. Decide what your persona or what you're offering content-wise is focused around. It is good to have one focus. You are a dom or you are a sub or you are super shy or you have that girl next door girlfriend experience or if there is any kink that you specifically really enjoy providing content for or any fetish. Those are different things that can go into building your persona, but boiling it down into something that can be described in five words or fewer is going to make it a lot easier to communicate with your customers what you offer. To if I did girlfriend experience one week, and then I was a dom for a week, and then I felt like being a sub for a week, and then I tried a different kink, that type of chaos will make it harder to retain customers where consistency plays a huge part in your brand. There are ways to tweak or to change your brand that can be very effective. Changing little parts of your brand over periods of time can be helpful if it's a natural progression. For example, I didn't have a persona. I'm very bad at acting, which is why I don't have a persona. I'm just being myself. The natural progression of that was refining that down into being a girl next door slash girlfriend experience content creator, but how I presented what I was offering became more clear to people, which makes it easier for them to understand what they are getting when they are coming into my room or watching one of my videos or talking to me on any platform. If you want to make a large change, I recommend doing this all at the same time. Do a lot of research beforehand of what you want to make that change to so that you can do it at one time, do a full rebranding, make sure that all of the consistencies between your name and your color scheme and your content, all of those changes can happen at once so that it is less confusing if the people that used to buy your content are now not interested, that will happen, but they clearly know what you are now providing so they can decide certain brands and certain types of content will have more success on different types of platforms. When it comes to clip sites, there are so many out there. There's many vids, AVN stars, I want clips. You can post clips on Chatterbait. You can do OnlyFans. There are so many different platforms. I recommend starting small. Don't go to every single one of them. Figure out which ones you can really hone in on what your brand is and how you provide content to your customers. Some sites revolve around more close interaction with your customers. You need to be able to dedicate more time to those. If you want to have a more passive income, you can do something that's more along the side of clip sites. Use social media as a business account. For lack of a better word, you don't want your personal baggage to be clouding up your social media when someone wants to go there to see your content. If you want me to go into more detail, please leave a comment below and let me know if you want examples of certain types of people in different kinks. I probably have a list of almost every kink that I can give you. Let me know what you guys want to see in the comments and I will see you next time.